what is going on guys today i'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called team sky wars now, if you don't know what team sky wars is it's one of my most favorite mini games to play on minecraft pretty much what it is you and a teammate spawn on an island and there are other islands with other teams that you have to try to kill based on the loot you get from chests. well with this plugin you can easily set it up on your server now there's not many features on this plugin but it for a fact does work so it's good to have a functional plugin on your server and you guys can set up team sky wars on your server for free so just download this plugin that's all you need just this plugin itself and then restart your server and then what you're gonna need as well you're gonna need a sky wars map now <laughs> this is pretty crappy not gonna lie um, but of course it's just for the purpose of the video you're gonna need islands you can create as many as you want and then you're gonna need cages for the islands so since this is team sky wars I do have you know blocks of two space for two people and yeah so that's pretty much it you can have chests there which make sure that they're empty because they will spawn in when the game starts and then they'll auto refill based on the ratio that we set in the config which I'll show you later but anyways let's go ahead and create our arena by the way you're gonna need world edit if you don't have that I'm sure most of you guys do and then you're gonna also need vault so both those plugins will be in the description make sure you have those and restart your server if you downloaded them but besides that what we have to do now we have to select two points okay so two points from one top corner to the bottom corner almost like a cube so that is going to be our two points so we can select everything in our arena so I'm going to go to this top corner right over here I'm going to type slash slash POS1 and that will select our first position now we're going to go diagonally across and to the bottom corner right here get underneath it and then we're going to type slash slash POS2 then after that you're going to just want to type the command slash TSW create arena and hit enter there we go, it's gonna create an arena. For you guys, it'll be arena ID one, but this is my, you know, this is another test arena, so this is two for me. But now, the next thing we have to do is we have to set our spawn points for our players. Just go inside the cage, stand where you want one player on the team to spawn. So the command type is slash TSW, set spawn, and then next, and hit enter. So there we go, spawn one in arena two, set. Now we're gonna have to set the other teammate spawn, so let's back up a little bit, and then type the same exact command in, and hit enter. So there we go, it's that simple. Just go ahead and do the same thing to the other ones. And then by the time I finish this, I should have eight spawns because I have four cages and two players for each. So, all right, there we go. And then the last thing that we have to do is we have to set the lobby spawn point. So to do that, you're gonna wanna type the command slash TSW, set lobby spawn, hit enter. There we go, simple as that. Now, unfortunately, this plugin doesn't have join signs, but that is to come in a future update. So for now, your players will just have to type slash TSW, join and then the arena ID so this is ID 2 for me probably one for you and by the way you can always use the plugin called command signs and that will allow you to put a command on a sign for your players to right click so if you wanted to put this on a sign then that could work just like that and the link to that video will be on the screen you can click on it if you're interested but anyways we're going to type slash TSW join then the arena ID bam here we go now Okay, we spawned a little bit inside the glass, but that's okay. So there we go, we have one out of eight players. Now I'm going to get Bobby to join. Obviously the game won't start because I don't have more than just this account and then Bobby. But let's go ahead and get him in just for the heck of it. So slash TSW, join two. Bam, there we go. So me and him spawn in the same cage. So that is how that works. We are currently on the same team. So now let's go into the chess.yml. Here's where you can change what is contained inside of chess. Now it works like this in levels it is the most common one. And it'll have the most common item. So it's most likely to spawn. If you go down here to level five, then that is the rare chest. So whatever you put in here should be like diamond, pickaxe, diamond sword stuff like that enchanted stuff yeah so it pretty much works like that and then in here inside the config is where you can actually change how many players is needed to automatically start the game and then the start time the countdown once it's reached that point and then they can actually vote to go ahead and start it as well and that's actually pretty much it for this plugin tutorial hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to drop a like please and subscribe for more plugin tutorials i'll see you guys next time peace out